I have a colleague with whom I just love to argue, love to talk about theoretical ideas with. Do you have anybody like that in your life? I'm really lucky to have this colleague. One of our favorite things to talk about is about coding, and in particular about whether to use manifest or latent coding techniques. So the coding content, coding content for manifest or latent content is a very, very important part of any kind of qualitative coding project. So you'll have to be really aware of the, the differences between those two types of coding once you start coding your, your research, your data. So manifest coding, coding for manifest content, is where you're only coding for the content that is apparent, that is obvious, that is the, the data, the content that is measurable and countable. Whereas the latent content is the deeper structural issues of what the content might mean about how people might interpret the meaning of the content. So for example, if you had a series of surveys where you would let people, you would ask your respondents to describe in text, maybe you had them to type in the text, or you had them to actually handwrite in the text to describe particular things, like say that you were asking them about uh, paying their fuel bills here in, in the North. And if you had a bunch of people who would say things like, my household finds it difficult to pay our heating bills, or uh, we can't keep our house as warm as we'd like because we can't afford the fuel, or I actually was cold last year uh, because we ran out of fuel and we could not afford the fuel bill. That if your respondent said stuff like this, to code it for the manifest data, the manifest content, you would just count how many times people said things like that, that I can't afford fuel, that fuel is unaffordable. And that would be your coding category, is fuel is unaffordable. But on the other hand, if you were going to code for the latent meaning, what you'd be going for there is what the respondents might mean by saying things like that. So you can sort of understand this sense of, of despair and frustration uh, when people say, I can't afford to pay my heating bill, or my children were cold last year because we ran out of fuel and my family could not afford to pay our heating bill, that we could not afford to buy oil, that we could not afford to have the, the fuel company to deliver oil, or that we ran out of wood, we ran out of, of heat, that we couldn't heat our home. That there's these latent meanings, these meanings that are the deeper structural issues, and you might be coding the content for these latent issues, such as poverty, that is, um, you know, being caused not because people aren't working, but because the cost of fuel is so exorbitant. So this would be the deeper structural meaning that might be um, in your data, but that you have to look under the surface. So whereas the manifest content is the surface content, Berg and Loon note that the latent content, when you code for the latent content, that what you're looking for are the deeper symbolic structural issues that may be present.